Hi and welcome back to a big Lego Bugatti Chiron build. Now this one's going to be not much to do, you see, there's uh, barely a part there, so I'm going to do this at normal speed. This is pack 9, uh, this will be the seats and some of the instrument panel, so I'm going to do one of the seats on the camera, um, the other one is just basically the same thing but reversed, and then I'll do the instrument panel on screen as well, so it won't be take too long in theory. So, if you're following along, page 113, part 649. Right, so you get these two grey parts. No, uh, grey parts. Brownie grey parts. 21 and 22. 22 goes on the drive, passenger side with the pointy bit towards the back of the car. Middle there, and the other one goes on the opposite side as well. If you try and put them on the other way, it'll be a bit hard to put them on. See, so it just fits there. That'd be like a center console. The bit I thought was a seat is a center console, basically. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was a seat, but anyway, right, this should be a nice quick one. But oh, as I was saying before, I always get my parts ready. It tells you what parts you need, so I get the parts to the side so I know I won't miss anything. So you get another one of these, number 21, put this blue thing this way round, and then one of these circle black on that. And then that goes on the right hand side of the car, uh, somewhere. <laughs> okay, right, it goes, I'll show you where it goes. I think there'll be another one of these on the other side. Yeah, it just fits for this little bit there. Goes there. Nice and quick. Now I start with seat. It's a separate build, so I'll put the car to the side for a minute. And then move the camera slightly. So I put a part of my right, the instruction made to my left, right as well. So I can work here. I see you need one of these, one of the, two of the long blue ones, long blue ones, and one of the short blue ones. Get your orientation right first. That's always key with these Lego builds. Put this in the top left like that, and then these pointing outside, on this part out first, like that. Then you get a long number six red one, which is right because it's handy. Uh, Little black connector and a big blue connector. Put the red through the bottom slightly, not too far. That's that later on, probably. Little black connector there and a blue one in front of it. So it looks like that. And number three, silver thing, and then the uh, other one. And then one of these. Girlfriend's just appearing on screen now. Yeah. Well, not appearing on screen, but you know. No, yeah. You've got the free connector there. Push that red bit so it's not it's quite level with it, so it's probably better that way around. And then this weird part, I don't explain. They don't tell you the, what the parts are called, so. I wonder if there's an actual technical name for some of these. I know some of them are like. Three by four and stuff like that and bits right. like that. But anyone who's really good at the uh, names of Legos, let me know if you know what bits are called connectors and prods and all sorts. If you know, yeah. get a chat at the next one. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, if you know in the comments, let me know. I know Legos are called Lego. It's called Lego. Uh, many Lego is called Lego, not Legos like most people think. So that's only that's that's the extent of my knowledge. It's not much to most. Any little tip bits about Lego? I know it was founded in Germany. Is it Germany? Oh, I'll shut up. There's a uh, the thing on YouTube. I'll probably put a link in the description. It tells you the whole story of how it started. It started a uh, started with a bloke just building wooden wooden models, and that was it first. 
but it came up with a name. It was short, a shortened version of a name. Huh? Oh, go away now. But check it out, it's quite good. It's done all uh, animated, so you know how it is. It's all voiced by one of the, or I think it's voiced by one of the it's, it's descendants of the bloke. Whether it is it's one of the descendants or not is nothing, but that's what he says he is, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is him. But check it out, it's quite a good video. They've, they've struggled and all sorts. They're still doing some of the mottos now, they say uh, quality and all sorts of that. So, I'm muffling on, I'm talking about I'm doing it. I'm going to explain what I'm doing to Bruce because I will probably bore the hell out of most people if I keep explaining what I'm doing. But Any, any questions, let me know. Oh, in the comments. Any questions? Uh, there will be another build soon. I've got. I'll hide in hiding what that is because it'd be a surprise. It's another big Lego, but that's all I can say. R two should be coming soon, hopefully uh, this week or next week even. I was hoping it was this Saturday, but a girlfriend lets you know. yeah, a girlfriend lets me here. <laughs> but we'll see what happens, isn't it? Eh? See how it all goes and see what happens. Yeah, if girlfriend lets me know if it, when it comes, I'll put a um, link. I'll put a link up on YouTube, uh, new, uh, YouTube, on Facebook to the build. And I'll do it that night, but we'll see. If it's if it's a Wednesday night, I won't do it because Paint and P does and uh, Corlix does their video live videos. So Thursday night I won't do it again because Wailed or Wayne and Gross Models do their videos as well then. So it's either Monday, Tuesday or Fridays or Saturdays, Saturdays maybe. Because I know I won't have any people watching my videos otherwise. So. Ah. See, it, see what happens, see how it goes. But anyway, we'll see. Oh yeah, <laughs> you haven't done the Christmas shopping? Uh, I haven't done anything yet. I've done it all. Yeah, girlfriend's done most of it. It's just watching. Yeah, that's true. I, like most of me, I don't like shopping. I like I like getting this, uh, be given this shopping, but yeah. that's it. Especially, well it's not shopping, it's Lego, but near enough, isn't it, eh? You gotta keep me occupied, isn't you? Okay. Bored, I was. Yeah, when we used to go to Lakeside in, uh, in Essex, don't know if some people are in Essex, but they uh, used to have these massage chairs, and I was like, leave me here, and I'll see you later. <laughs> see me later. <laughs> well, I yeah, might as well, won't I? Fair. <laughs> Don't know why it's not fair they've got rid of those. So when you go into a uh, like shoe shop, they have the uh, the seats for the men to sit on while the women choose their shoes all the time. Yeah. Yeah. It's true though. Definitely true. Because women take forever with shoe shopping or clone, try and close on. It's like a race to the chair whenever you get to, <laughs> to shop. I think most of my my, my uh, video people watching my videos are men, so it's not too bad. If you're a female, actually, let me know. It'd be quite interesting to know. Interesting to know if there are people with female watching. Well, I know. Anyway, that's the thing. I have to cut loads of things out with girlfriend in the background because she won't shut up. And I can't say, can't let keep her saying certain stuff, can I? 
which makes my life harder because if it's just it's simple if it's just editing put it together done you know I have to cut this out, cut that out, mess about that and that. Which makes my life harder. Right, so you need to do put another sticker on the uh, headrest of the seat. Yeah, chevron sticker. And let them go up there. Okay. Pretty cool. Getting there. Eh? Slowly getting out. I've, I've had no time, most a lot of time to do these, so I'm doing what I can. Um, we'll just see how it goes, isn't it? Eh? Well, we need, we need with, um, huh? Doing what? <laughs> oh yeah, there's so much stuff I'm watching on YouTube at the moment. <laughs> on YouTube. Um, Binge watching on like everything like Netflix and all that. It's just crazy amount of stuff. But keeps me occupied, as I like to say. Give me stuff to do. Whatever. Yeah. Alright, so that's that done. Uh, it's like the back seat part. And that'll go. Gives it a nice sort of leather look. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll do the other, uh, do the left, uh, this is a driver's seat. I'll do a patient seat off camera because it'd be boring otherwise doing exactly the same thing again. Uh, yeah. Anyway, give you a close up of what this looks like and then I'll show you. It's pretty cool though. Cool design. I mean, most of this will be done then. <laughs> this issue is part number 22. Book number uh, part number nine. Right, so that will go. Okay. Yeah. Right there, that's a bit weird. Okay, so see, the driver's seat would look like that. Very weird looking thing. Then it will go obviously in the driver's side. The thing. And see this red pole. That will that will go somewhere. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'll try and figure this out. Seems like the seat is too big to fit in. I think it's, yeah, that was a bit of a struggle to put in there. The back of the seat lines up there. You push the red down. And then that's the uh, that's the driver's seat in place, which is pretty cool. I think there's one more bit to do that seat before we go to the left seat. Yeah, there is. Get the last couple of parts and then I'll cut it off and I'll be back with you after I've done that. And I think that'll be the end of that one, I think, after that. See anyway. Let's build another part. I think it's the uh, seat part of the, the bottom part of the seat even. Yeah. So that goes that nice simple build, and then that just goes on the bottom part like. Yeah. Right, that's the uh, driver's seat done. I'll be back once I've done the passenger seat. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Right, right that's both the passenger and driver's seat in place. There was a couple of bits at the bottom there. You had to push in them orange like connectors, but I've done that off screen. 
No point in doing that, like so there are. Last few bits to do. Not much more now. Just little bits and pieces of the dashboard I think partially. Right, let's see. Let's get this number twenty two, make it like that, and you put this up to the passenger seat again. Like the driver's seat. Side now need number 13, this nice light blue one, and two of these long ones. I'll do it that way round and put these at the bottom. That way round, like so. Need number seven light blue, and that just goes. Number seven, that just goes underneath that, but slightly off like that. So it's got a step. Then you need three black connectors, one on that, one on there, one from the bottom. So Black number five, and these weird ones, and this weird like fog sort of thing. You turn it round and put a black connector on that, and then the fog parts or put it in like that. I think this is part of the door, I could be wrong. Number five connector at the back of that. And then take so passenger side is to you. And then this will somehow Okay. There's a uh, See that white connector there? It just goes to the right there of that. So the back connector there will go in there. Right, right. that's that blue, nice light blue put on there like that. Pretty simple that was. So what you do is get this number 14 dark blue part. And put three of the black connectors in the back there. Show you where they are. Like that. And you get number 17. And it goes like that. Now this will go on the back wing. There's, there's two back connectors here and two back connectors here already, so it's pretty obvious what way where it goes. So the short wing part goes at the top. So that should, in theory, if we lined it up properly earlier, to go in there nice and easy like that. Coming together now, eh? Do you make another one of these light blue ones? Perfect. And you get one of these, two of these, put one on each side. So you see this wing here, it goes a hole above that. Page, the number six and number five, two back connectors. The number five goes on this side of the vehicle. So you got three here, and it goes, and that's the black connector goes in the middle of that. So, and you push that silver connector pipe you just put in, you place to hold that ring there. 
And he did basically the same again with the other one. The other side. Here you go, this page. Uh, this book. Put two of these. Two of these. Put it to be two things. Yep, same these. Two of these. And two of these. And you can build two of these. So. The next few things are just build two of these, two of these, and two of them. So, two exactly how it is. And they go. They go uh, on the end of these blue side skirts on either side. Parts and outs of them, 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 and them. Go to two of these again. Okay, <laughs> bit strange, but so what else to build? So that's what I built. it much and it's going back at the vehicle <laughs> there's little details here um, so one without the blue bit goes in this here like so and then the other end goes in Oh, there's a. You just see that hole there. See? That was closing there, I think. Probably best to lift the hole, uh, the uh, ring up out of the way. Yeah, that goes like that. Just about to see it there. Give it a nice curve. You just do the opposite, same to the opposite side. to do some bits left over nope that's it some spare parts quite a few spare parts there actually surprisingly and that is um part number nine done <sighs> getting together going there as you can see um i'll probably be doing part 10 in a minute as well once i've uploaded this and that's pretty much quite cool you've got the bits i just put on the little Details there to make it nice and little move, uh, sort of rounded areas here. The two driver, passenger and driver seats in there. A bit more details on the width of the build and uh, some light blue panels here. Hey, that's that for part number nine. I'll be back with you with, with, you with part, part ten in another video. See you soon. Bye.